Hey, what's going on you crazy kitty cats? It's Elder here. Before we get into the video, I just want to say huge thanks to my Discord for tipping me off on what we're talking about today. We have a lot of fun in the Discord, and there's a lot of good discussion. If that sounds like something that interests you, I left a link in the description. With that out of the way, today we're going to be looking into the Lake Nyos disaster. The Lake Nyos disaster occurred on August 21st, 1986, and really what happened is quite shocking. The lake essentially exploded in what scientists say was a burst of held up CO2, killing over 1,500 people and 3,500 livestock, which was obviously extremely detrimental to the people of Cameroon. But when you look beyond just what the scientists are saying, and you start to look into what some internet detectives and political officials have theorized, this could not only be some extremely rare natural disaster, but potentially one of the best kept secrets regarding foul play that we've ever seen. Scientists say that the explosion triggered the sudden release of about 300,000 tons of CO2. And because CO2 is far heavier than oxygen, it rushed down the sides of the mountain into the valleys surrounding the lake, and suffocated people as far as 18 miles away. One survivor of the situation said on Friday, quote, Then, I managed to go over to my neighbor's houses. They were all dead. I decided to leave because most of my family was in Wum. I got my motorcycle. A friend whose father had died left with me for Wum. As I rode through Nios, I didn't see any sign of any living thing. When I got to Wum, I was unable to walk, even to talk, and my body was completely weak." End quote. Some people awoke to wounds all over their body, some even missing all of their skin. Secondly, the whole lake had turned red due to the explosion. Scientists have varying theories on what exactly caused the eruption of the gas but they generally agree with the fact that it was natural, and it was CO2. But that seems to be mainly where the controversy lies, with some suspecting potential human involvement in the triggering of the explosion, and some saying the lake wasn't even responsible at all. Many people don't accept the scientifically accepted answer as 100% fact, saying that these people had their skin burned off and had deep wounds, which could not have been caused by simple lack of oxygen, rather that there had to be some kind of external involvement. Some even going as far to say that the Israelis detonated a bomb as a test to see what would happen, and it ended up releasing the chemicals. To back their claims up, they cite that the Israeli medical teams were there less than 48 hours after the initial explosion saying that by the time they would have gotten news, they couldn't have mobilized that fast, unless already in the area. And this brings us to the third theory, that someone was testing a dangerous chemical weapon on the people of Cameroon, which is why they had so few survivors and sores all over their body, saying that the lake had nothing to do with it and it was all a cover-up to test these kind of horrible chemical weapons, which would explain people not having any skin at all. So what do you guys think really happened at Lake Nyos? The scientific crowd seems to have settled on the fact that it was an extremely violent, albeit rare, natural disaster, and I'm in no position to confirm or refute the widely accepted scientific answer. But with all of the backlash and holes in the widely accepted theory, it can at very least just make you pause for a second and consider what really went on. So what do you guys think? Was the Lake Nyos explosion, was it a completely natural disaster, a man-made disaster, or somewhat of both? Be sure to leave me what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I've already said, my Discordians have brought this to my attention, and it certainly is a strange phenomenon. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want more content like this in the future. Also follow me on Twitter if you haven't already to get updates on my videos and sneak peeks. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Peace.